your brushes and the idea is so we can create our brush library so from here on out all I have to do for all the tutorials is what I do and then just go user define and they're all just hanging out here so I have a brush AI file or an illustrator file where I already have all those shapes done and the other idea is makes all your stuff look awesome from here on out so all we're gonna do is click on it and it's gonna give us some nice tapers so what I might want to do is grab the front ones and give it a little bit more of a thickness and whenever we're doing brushes what we are basically looking for especially since most of you guys are new to this is we are looking for the edges and anytime an edge is, edge is or one of these strokes is floating out in space that is a good signal that we would want that to be tapered hanging out here now this stuff is going to get overlapped and we are going to erase those later I'm just going to leave those alone I'm going to go to 5 and maybe for this one I'm going to go to 7 let's bring that one up to 2 now most of our guy is actually going to get covered and filled in so you're going to notice that I will not be doing some of these and the and if I think we need to erase, then I will thicken it up just so when we do the next step, it'll make more sense. And it'll make our lives easy. All right, so this one, I want this one to be fat, and I want this one to be tapered over here. If it ever goes in the wrong direction, notice I have two. So I can just click it and go from there. I'm going to bop that up to two. And whenever we do our brushes, what I'm always looking for is this fat end that is nice and clean. So I don't want both, I don't want to be able to see a corner. For this one, it's really not that big of a deal because this whole inside of the mouth is going to get black. All right, that one's going to go fat by the inside. Taper, I want to bring that up. Let's see if we can use the same one. Let's go two. Good. All that stuff will get deleted. I do want this one to have a different style brush where it's got fat edges. Let's go to two with it. That one's not that big of a deal, but just so we can get in the same habit of things, let's just bring that up. So notice that I was trying to get rid of the corner that's hanging out in the mouth. This totally will get black later, but let's just get start developing some good habits for you. I'm just going to pop that up to two. Now my thought process right now is just how much of this back edge do I want to see? I'm going to do fat to skinny on that one. I'll take that back. Let's go fat, fat. That's good. I might just take this little point and I might just bring it up a tiny bit. All I'm doing is using my arrows, by the way. That's good. Well, let's go back to that one. So just notice everything is still in stroke form I have not expanded anything yet good let's just go thick with this this is all gonna get filled in by the way we can leave that alone we can leave those guys alone that's all gonna get filled in so we can just delete that okay so all I'm doing right now is just kinda doing little double checks and what I'm looking for is all of these overlapped edges alright I say we look good so for this one we are done with brushes that was it moving along I'm gonna duplicate now I like leaving this one for sure because that one is where it's still stroked out so once we start erasing things if I want to just come back grab a point and move it way way easier so what we are gonna do next I'm going to click this little circle it's gonna select everything I'm gonna go expand ex appearance and I'm gonna usually do it twice until I get this little pop-up and then I will click OK and now everything is a shape so we no longer have strokes everything is a shape and now we get to come in and just clean everything up and this process is so so easy this is where I've started to modify for beginners because it makes your life ridiculously easy and then we don't have to line things up we don't have to mess around with strokes especially when we add our brushes where I just click on it black arrow shift E is eraser and then I just delete that edge. So anything I want to overlap, I just come in, erase, 
race, if I want to change the size of the brush, I am using my bracket key. Bracket key is next to the P. So it'll go O, P, and then your brackets. So black arrow, shift E. You'll also see it highlighting up here, by the way. So as we're doing this, things just to pay attention to. I'm selecting the area I want. I'm going to go shift E. So this whole thing behind the nose, all of this is going to get erased. So notice it looks like I'm killing everything. And then when I come back, it only deletes the line that I have selected. So it's quite foolproof. Good. Good. I'm going to grab that nose. That's going to tuck behind this little, little crease, little Ren and Stimpy nose. I guess it won't be Ren. It'll be Stimpy. Good. I'm going to grab this lip. And that one's going to tuck behind that front lip. Good. I'm going to grab this. And then let's just make sure that that pops out. Beautiful. Shifty. Now with the brushes, you will notice that there is a tiny bit of a color difference. Don't even worry about that. We will clean that all up later. Okay. I think everything looks... I was going to say, that was too easy. Select, Shift E. Select, Shift E. And my hand is always hanging out on the keyboard since we do so much with shortcuts on this. Now, if you want to keep this great, I always just duplicate. Again, I think it's a good habit. You never know when you want to come back and modify things. Now, what I'm going to do, let's go to Pathfinder. We are just going to unite everything, by the way. Good. And then all of our black lines and everything should have just been cleaned up. So now we can come back to our layer. Let's click that little circle. Let's come over to Object Live Paints. Make. Now if I go K, so notice I deselected K. Now I'm going to basically fill in everything with my dark maroon color. So I'm going to pretty much fill in all of these darks. Fill in the mouth, fill in the nose, good, and also fill in that outside shape, good. Now let's do the lighter maroon, that's fine, let's do that, I'm going to do a little bit of a blue over here, and then let's do our green. Let's do our lighter green. Good. I'm going to go object, expand, hit OK. I'm going to basically click ungroup. So this is right clicking, ungroup, deselect, ungroup. So notice after each one, I'm coming over here deselecting. And what I'm looking to do is be able to grab the shapes like that. Now you might be able to see them on the screen. See how there's these little ghostly white lines? So what I want to do is double click my magic wand, have a tolerance down pretty low, especially since these two colors are pretty similar. Let's just grab our darks, by the way. Let's come over to Pathfinder. Now if you can't see Pathfinder and Unite, just come up to Window and then drop down until you see Pathfinder. And then we'll just grab all of those what I'm also looking to do is just see if, all right. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the bottom layer here. I'm gonna go Control C, lock that guy out, paste in front, Shift X. So I want these two to be united. And I, all I really want is to have that guy covered. So I'm going to have this, hold down shift, and then I'm just going to go minus front, and I'm going to zoom out and just to double check that nothing else got deleted. Now I would go file save, we are looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go file open. What I'm looking for is our vectors, and I'm probably going to just grab this one, control C, get rid of it. I'm just going to go control F, paste in front. I'm going to grab it, pull it over, 
click new swatch it'll say pattern I'm gonna delete that one now we're gonna have our little swatch here so just double click and I, what I'm looking for is basically to get my halftone options we are going to zoom in grab our magic wand and what I'm looking to do is just click on any of the darks and we're basically going to do a couple of these so the first thing I want to do is go dark maroon save a copy just click one hit OK next we're gonna do the lighter blue save a copy hit OK everything is still selected and then I'm going to do the lighter save a copy three hit OK all right, click on done. Now you're gonna notice that they are just hanging out in your swatches. So let's go control zero. Let's just see everything. Now what I'm looking to do is grab all of the maroons. I'm gonna do the long version just so you can see it. I'm gonna go copy. I'm gonna go paste in front. There you go. And then for this one, I'm gonna go dark red we're going to add in those little half tones. I'm going to grab my face. Let's do long just so you can see that I'm adding a separate shape. Copy. Paste in front. Let's do our little lighter. Good. Same thing over here. Copy. Paste in front. You already know your shortcuts. So you're able to do that. And then we're just going to add in the little half tone. File save. One last little step and we are done. So we got our brushes. I'm going to duplicate that. And since they're both the same, just lock out the top one. I'm just gonna hide it so you can see what we're doing here. I'm gonna grab everything. And what we're looking to do is add a little bit of a shadow underneath it. So it'll look more like a sticker. Now notice that I did duplicate it. I locked it out. I'm gonna go Pathfinder. And we're basically gonna pull everything together. Okay. And I'm just going to come over and grab this green. We are on the bottom layer. This one is locked out, by the way. Just so you're aware, this one's still hanging out. All we're going to do is come up to Object. We're going to drop down where it says Path. We're going to go to Offset Path. I want rounded corners. Let's just start with these zeroed out. Point 0.1. I can always preview. Always just double check that you don't have any strays and then hit OK. Boom! Done! File save.